Tadam. Okay, um, we are in a hotel right now. So I brought the smallest travel um, travel set with AeroPress. Yeah, so I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna show you how it looks like first. Yeah, so there. This is it. I have a really small scale. This is from Hario. And the Aero Press and the Easy Presso Q Air is here inside without the catch cup. And I didn't bring the um, crank knob. Today we are using the Honey Grape Coffee from Nana Coffee Roasters. This is from Thailand. I want to prepare my coffee beans first. So we are weighing 18 grams. This is the recipe that I've been following for quite a while now. I'm using 18 grams of coffee. This, this coffee is really good. Um, this is grape maceration process. They process the coffee like wine. So it's so good. Then we're going to use a coarse grind setting. So in this case, for the Easy Presso Q Air, um, we are doing 23. That is 69 clicks. So one rotation is 10. And then another rotation is 20. And then 21, 22, and then 23. This is the same setting that I would use if I'm using a Comandante. So that is also 23 clicks on the Comandante. By the way, we are doing an inverted method. Because I didn't bring the catch cup for me to be able to push it inside this part. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold the arrow press and the grinder at the same time. There. So... So the coffee grounds goes directly inside my AeroPress chamber, right? So we're going to start. Without the crank knob, um, it works. It works the same. But you only want to do this when you're... You only want to do this when you're traveling, maybe. Because, of course, if you're going to be brewing a lot, it's going to be painful on your hand. But right now, I'm only doing, I'm on a work trip. And I'm doing just maybe one or two coffees a day. So, it's fine. It's fine without the crank knob. Let's prepare our water. So, this is the kettle from the hotel. I don't mind using it. Yeah, it's clean. So, should be fine. Let's put some water into this. Some hotels don't have... Um, some hotels do not provide electric kettles in the rooms. So just don't be, don't be afraid to ask. Yeah, don't be afraid to ask if they have, if they have an electric kettle um, that you can borrow, right? But most of them, most of them would, most of the hotels would provide you electric kettles if you ask for one. And yeah, actually a lot of, most most hotels would have electric kettles in the rooms but yeah right now we don't have a way to check the temperature of this so i actually i actually made i actually made a chart before 
that you let it boil and then you wait a certain amount of time and then you kind of let it cool down at that point so in this case we are waiting two minutes so right after boiling we are waiting two minutes for us to get our target temperature which is around 85 87 um, the water just finished boiling. Um, we're gonna start the timer for two minutes. Actually, this, of course, we are not getting the accurate temperature. Um, there are a lot of variables like the, the lining of the kettle, the water, the elevation, the altitude. Um, but you get the point. Um, you just wait it to cool down just a little bit. Um, and then at least you're not, you're not, um, at least you're not brewing at around 97 or 96 right so um, I'm gonna start the timer on my I'm gonna start the timer on my um, scale while we're waiting for the water I'm gonna prepare the paper filter oh I have two left <laughs> so luckily I'm going home tonight and I need to refill this again right so I'm gonna use two paper filters on this recipe and here is the hotel mug okay I'm gonna wet that with the I'm gonna wet the paper with the um, hot water Okay, we are one minute into the timer. Opening the cover of the water heater might help cool down faster. Um, just be careful because it might cool down to around 70, 75, and you don't want that. Yeah, so for this recipe, if you want to try it at home, we are actually using around 84 to 85. We are two minutes into our timer and now we're gonna start we are doing two equal pours of 100 ml so the first pour is 100 ml and we're gonna wait up to one minute before we do the second pour so um, try to pull the plunger as far as you can and then at this point you need to shake the bed Shake your arrow press to let the gas out. Actually, not shaking. It, we're, we are swirling to let the gases out. Okay, at one minute, we are pouring another 100 ml. We're going to put the paper filter. Push down to let all the air out. Swirl one more time before inverting it onto your arrow press cup. We're gonna wait 30 more seconds before we start pressing to make sure all the coffee is um, settled at the bottom of the paper filter. Now at 2 minutes and 30 seconds, we're gonna start pressing up to 3 minutes. So this is going to be a very slow press. Again, if you are using an AeroPress, um, you don't need to put pressure, you don't need to put weight onto the plunger. The weight of your hand will do, right? So our target to finish pressing is around three minutes. We are three minutes and 10 seconds now. Yeah, there, and we're finished. Try to squeeze out and then pull back you have to make sure that you don't get coffee all over the place yeah and then we have our coffee mm. oh my god okay um the joy and the pleasure of getting good coffee while you're traveling is something that is really hard to achieve and I think 
um, with this new um, set that we've made a couple of episodes ago. I think it's really worth it just because you have the ability to create something really beautiful, really good. And yeah. And I think that's it for this episode. I'm going to enjoy this coffee. Thank you so much for watching. In the next videos, I'm going to show you more about coffee. Bye!